Welcome back to our back. And today we start with a brief overview of what happened between episodes. Because I did record uh, two episodes and uh, actually the video was all messed up. And I don't know what happened. Well, I know what happened. I fixed that. So this one should be all right. But I need to give you a brief overview because there are, there are a lot of changes. And the first one is what you're seeing right now. So these are actually these buildings with the green top. They are called green buildings. You can see another one over there, some over there, some over there. So if I get out of this mode, you see that this is a green five-story mixed residential commercial use. And this is just a green five-story building. So we've achieved that with all these uh, floral parks in here. They need, I believe, 50 or more green in a 10 radio, which is quite a lot. But then we've added it there. Now, all of these, basically from there, all the way to here, to the edge of the map, this is all new. And this is all, this all happened in the last episode. Because we are having a lot of issues with not having enough skilled workers. And I had to resolve that. And creating this area was the way to resolve that. So that's why this happened. We've actually had to redo the university because with the lack of skilled workers, all these buildings were abandoned and I had to cre recreate them. And over here, I think we lost one. Actually, we lost a few buildings in here, so I should go in there and redo them. Although we don't actually need all the that power at the moment, I think we could go ahead and just refill all these spots and we have enough skilled workers to, to be working there. Actually, we just consumed one, so this is quite good actually. So that is not a problem. Uh, and we expanded the university around here as well. And look at this, I think I will bring the road all the way over there. At least it makes sense for me to have it over there. And yeah, this is all sorted. This area is potentially still the same, I think. That is just this little block in here that was added. And that is, oh, that is one, a big one, which is hmm, this one. <laughs> this ugly building over here. This is a food research center. And what it actually does, it consumes, look at that, 2,000 high-skilled workers. And, but it, like, that's why we are low now in skilled workers. And 40 research and 80 power. So this is what triggered all this rebuilding and this huge expansion in here. But it does give me 9,000 food production, which is fantastic. So yeah, this is a, a good way to expand your um, your food production in there. So yeah, we have all that. So what's next for us? We now have the advanced research centers, which you'll find in the Lundebark construction menu. These are very tall buildings that use science to improve the production of a resource. To follow the tutorial, just build one, the Advanced Energy Research Center. So this is in the landmark. This is the Food Research Center, by the way. And then we have the Advanced Food Research Center and we have the Advanced Energy Research Center, which is the one that we built. We need a thousand skilled workers, which is a lot. We need a thousand high skilled workers, which we don't have. And we have we need 500 steel. We also don't have that. And we need 150. Oh man, <laughs> research. We don't have that. The problem is not the cost you build, actually. The problem is the consumption. It's still 2,000 consumption for high skilled workers. We definitely don't have that. The 30 high uh, research items, it's, it's all right. And we have to build, we have to build one, we need the advanced faculty of engineering. So, oh, this is a pretty high building. 
Nice. We would have to build this around here, where we have the offices, but we need the advanced faculty of engineering. So let's take a look at what that building is. Probably is the one in the university, I hope. No, it's not, maybe. Oh, how do we find that? So, what's that called again? One or more advanced faculty of engineering. We do have faculty of engineering. Is that a way to actually upgrade those buildings? That is. So, we need population of 5,000. We do have that. We need what? A hundred or more solar plants. Oh, man. <laughs> All right, we have 17. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 15, 17. Yep. Mm. Okay. Seems like we are building a hundred of those. I didn't expect that. So, well, this area will be full. Oh, we need solar transformers in the radius as well. Which then might mean that we will build on this side as well. Might move the the solar, um, not solar. What's that called? Wind energy around here as well. If we need that, that's what we are building. All right. How many do we have now? It's easier just for me to come over here and take a look. 91. So we need just nine more. Oh, really? I don't need another solar transformer just for that. Mm, okay. Might do another one around here. That's all right. Might do these over here then and we do a few more just there do not produce enough science for this all right let's then go into this we have science arts and other education engineering can we have more there maybe philosophy we do already have one there. Botany, we seem to have to not have one there. All right, this this gave us a few more points in here. Let's go back in here and get the remaining ones that we need. Is that all that we need? Two more. All right, let's get it in there ready to upgrade how does that happen there we go just it just upgrades which is fantastic now what's the difference between the original building consume 200 workers skilled workers and high skilled workers it just doubles oh no that we need to be very careful with that how the plane going over there yeah, although we can see that the food plants and the research science centers are consuming quite a lot of high-skilled workers, but we have to be careful because every time we upgrade something, this number just drops. Everything now needs high-skilled people and skilled people. So that's where we have to be really careful. But again, to build the advanced energy research center, we need quite a lot more of those. So what I'll do, I'll come into this area that I've built last time. And we do have a high school over here. And yeah, some of these buildings, they are producing skilled and high skilled. We can increase this if like, for example, five story building, they will produce even more. So if we get retail in the area now i would love to see what we have in terms of retail in here because we can't really see that 
And the only building that I know that I can do retail, I might be missing one, but I'm just double check this. I don't think any other one will produce retail other than the mall. And the mall is quite big. So that's the mall. It provides 10 retail, but it takes like all the connectivity from the area just feels like can't be just one building right unless some of the commercial buildings also produce retail this is residential just trying to this one uh needs has to retail there we go i knew that there was another way to to do it can we update some of those into commercial buildings as well? If we go mixed commercial, we need, hmm, yeah, we need a Kiko in retail in here. So if we go back there and we do this one, we need banking. All right, banking, we can provide. If we go in here, and then we go for, we could go for a big bank or a small bank. I'll go for a small bank because it consumes less skilled workers. And I think that might be better for us. So I'll also speed things up. We're starting to see some upgrades happening. There we go. And these are five-story residential buildings. Let's keep an eye on this, 1200, 400, we need to be really careful with that. I need banking on this area as well, which I thought we had. But let's add another one in here and see what happens. Everyone upgrading, which is really good to see. If we go for that, we need, in theory, more retail. I thought these buildings are already providing some retail. Yeah, they are. All right, what is this? This is just simple housing waiting for life to happen. <laughs> Why do I have like some houses just stuck there? Maybe it's the way the, the land is and that's not actually triggering a new, a new build. But yeah, interesting. We could go for more in here then. I could create a mall or I could actually add some more housing in this area over here instead of building a mall. Some of these buildings might turn into a commercial. Yeah, there we go. Mixed commercial and they will provide more retail, which in turn, oops, sorry, I pressed the wrong button there. <laughs> which in turn, there you go, provide more retail for these buildings to, to grow. But I don't think that'll be enough. It's asking me for 50 or more squares with at least two retail in a seven radius, which doesn't seem like enough. It's providing me more, like this is going up, skilled and high skilled. At least that's something that is happening let's take a look at five-story mixed residential commercial seems to be the ones that provide most high skilled uh, people for us so this is probably what I need to focus which means more banking all right I'll replace this building with a nice uh, big banking build there we go this should provide at least the necessary banking. It does. Now we still need retail. So we need to do a small push in here. Can't build this over there, but I can certainly build this around here. This will take some of this area, but it will provide a lot more uh, around, around us. And that's what we need. 
I'll provide more connectivity around here because this takes 10 connectivity and I'm adding some subway stops just to re-add connectivity around this area. And if you look at this now, we still need more. Wow. Just feels like the corner is not enough. What about this area? This is five story. We could go five story provides 27 and 22. If I go for five story, 27, 35. But we need more retail in the area. Oh man, so much retail in the area is needed. <laughs> Let's try and expand this. Just means like expansion, expansion, and expansion. That's all that means. We can certainly provide more. Let's bring all of this. Consume a lot of food for that. We'll consume some power, but I think in terms of what we really need should be enough. We, we need to grow this quite a lot. This would be like an expansion episode, most likely. We're having five story mixed. Yeah, this needs more retail in the area. We need more connectivity around here as well. We have like some parking lots. We definitely don't want to see those. I'll add a lot more in here. Make them happy. So we can see houses instead of um, parking lots in there. And yeah, they're ready to upgrade. I might do a little push there just to help them out. And we are at almost, well, 2,900 now, which is fantastic. Now this area over here, I'm wondering if there is anything that we actually need to build here. It seems like we need more residents, so I might just do and do this over there. And then we take like a quick look at what they actually need to, to upgrade. If you look at this one, and we want to look at maybe village house, we need more residents around. That's all we need. This one need more residents in the radius as well. It's happening, it's happening. If you want to go for suburb, we need more people and more leisure. So I could definitely go around and do something like, maybe those, and we turn these around there. So it looks cool. And we might do Maybe I'll keep this this way for now. Might be more than enough here. Oh, we consume all the food. Oh no. <laughs> all the challenges. Again, if I, well, if I were to go for a food research center, I would consume 2,000 high-skilled workers. I can do that right now. So what do we do here? It's basically to another road in the air and that's it right seven yeah so seven bring this i'll bring this all the way over there could do another road in here you know what i will punch another road in there that's fine and i'll probably just leave this one ready to go and what do we do we are doing some fields over here I just removed the road by accident in there. Let's put that back in. And then we do more fields around this area. Okay, that should be enough for us to get a... What is that? Farm shed. And then we do one in here by the looks of it. Let me make like the the size of this wrong. So in theory, 
we have eight from one side to the other. Eight. Yeah, this is correct. I thought it should be... All right, anyway, um, let's just punch it back in there. We could do... Could do over here, really. And then... Could even do another one over there. Or maybe even over here. Alright, I want you to move this as close as possible there. One there. And then I can add another one in here. But I don't have enough energy. Seems like we're going around. That's one of the nice things about this game. Is that you keep going like round and round. Like you, you need to do one thing to compensate for the other and then you go back and start doing the now again and it's just like it's just nice we have our solar farm in there i'll probably add some of those in here just so we have enough power available again and then i was working on our farm sheds this should be the place for that and far enough from there so we don't cause any pollution to the work cards and then we would do by the moment we have enough food but we are consuming that slowly as you can see the numbers going down in here and that's mostly because of all this area is still growing oh look at this beauty yes love those buildings 12 story building look at that another one in there i want to see more of those and which one is this upgrades to a story and we need again more retail it seems like it never ends this retail journey but if i want to update anything else Ooh, we have 2,000 high-skilled workers now. How much did we need for that? 2,000. It's too, too close. I, I'm not confident that we, we could or should do one of those yet. So what I will do, I'll first spend our food production, which will go right here. So we have enough food. This will go down a little bit. That's like a, a given in there and I think we can expand all of this so I will go a little bit crazy on this this time this will cause like havoc in in terms of food production and all of that but we we need that so let's start by doing this. I want those two burners over there. I also want to provide some connectivity in here. Just making sure that we have... By the way, Subway needs um, high-skilled workers as well. But as we are bringing all these house up, then I'm quite, ha quite happy with what we have in there. We do need more education and we do need more leisure. So we could actually provide a high school so we get more storage for that. If we go for that one, these... Oh, look at that. I think we go one around here so we can cover all this area and another one around there to cover that area. So if I go... around there that would be more than enough but what about those buildings do we need no they need leisure all right so let's go with one around here and let's go with another one around oh, that's all right let's overlap a little bit right around there 
and they will all have enough um, education. Now, I think the next one will be leisure. Yeah, we don't have any of those. I'm thinking about adding some sort of... Maybe a floral park in the middle would be quite good. I'll try to go in the middle of those and see how this affects this area. And I definitely didn't put that in the middle. Let me just <laughs> do that again. <laughs> there we go. That works slightly better. Do we have enough leisure for those? No, we don't. All right, we need something around here as well. And maybe we do something different in there. Don't these provide like a lot of leisure? For leisure and yeah, let's go for this one. Try something different there and see how that goes. They're quite happy about that. Above 2000 again, which is really good. And the next step here then would be true story. We need even more leisure and healthcare. All right. How to get more leisure in here? I think what I would do, I can get hmm, maybe nice park there in there. Just to start with, I don't think that's enough. Yeah, that's enough. So healthcare, we go in here. We go for our clinic or hospital. I think I'll go with a hospital because this will provide more healthcare there. And I feel like I could build this over here. I'm pretty sure it won't affect this area. And that means that I'll add another one there. And this would be hopefully more than enough for them. Now, what are we missing? Even more leisure. Oh, really? So let's go a little bit crazy in here. I want a new floral park in there. And then if you look at this, we need... Oh, I just noticed that I put this in the wrong place. Well, I could try and go with a clinic around here and see if that's enough. For you, that's enough, but we don't have enough food. And then on we go about doing the, the food thing again. We are doing a 13... Okay, I'll do 13 again. One more. Uh, pretty close to the to the water in there that's quite nice but yeah once you bring this in here then we do a big field there big field over here and we work on the farm sheds in this area which will go on there and probably one here we don't have enough energy and only go with the never-ending cycle of power and everything else so this provides 25 this provides 300 you know what let's do a bit more of those yeah and we need more food let's go sorting out our food issues there you go another one over there and then a food plant that would go nicely in here actually should be all right okay i'll do that would that mean that i can add another one in there as well yes i can all right should I have done that before? I do not produce enough energy again. All right. 
more energy. Let's go with more of those. And yeah, here and there. This is looking pretty good. This area, I love it. We now need more research. And interesting enough, I don't think we have any other buildings to add in here. We have one, two, three, four, five. If you look at that, you have one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, we have a few more that we can do. Put a campus park in there, but we don't actually need that. So botany, we've done. We have that. We can add this one. And I think we now have everything that we need. Philosophy, we have one of those. Science, we have that. And we have that. But this gave us a nice fur. And we need more food again. How is this growing? Oh, lovely. What's it complaining about? Banking. But it needs to upgrade it. Zero or less banking. Yeah, not happening. Sorry. Let's go for food. Let me quickly pause this and get these buildings in there. Currently, we need another farm shed in there. I can add one. We have enough food at the moment. But I have a feeling that this will go away really, really fast. Can't be there. Need more steel. Have zero steel. All right. So these produce iron. We need more steel. I think we have a. What's that called? Steel works. Let's take a look. Sawmill steel works. That gives produce 20. What do we need around us? We need logistics. We need eight logistics. I feel like I'll add this in here in logistics at the back. Might not be enough though. And still works. Yeah, that's still, that's still not enough. <laughs> and from here, I think I'll bring a road all the way over there. Feels like we, we can do that. Um, sorry, how many did we need there? It's not so it still works that I want. I need three more in here. So I could do this. And then we should be all right. I do not produce enough iron to do that. Oh, no. So this is coal. We do have the iron mine in here. All right. We have three story all around so this is maxed out as far as i understand that unless we can produce this any other way that i don't remember no so let's go all the way over there and we need to come up with some housing in here basically Is this okay this will gives me all of that so what I'm thinking is that we can punch through here, basically. Like there. We might need to add like a few roads in here. I, I'll have to take a look. But hopefully this becomes a iron miner's house. That's what I'm looking for. At the same time, we need more food to compensate for that. Let's add more food over here. Also bring another road over there. Field itself won't 
pollute. So let's add some more in here. Okay, some of those are going up. What? What they need to become these? One or more iron industry, which is this one. Food service. Alright, we need a food service in there. Let's fix that up. Mini market, and there we go. I don't know, maybe. Maybe go here. That is like just a tree over there. We don't have food for that. Oh, talk about food. I think in this area we could do a local market then. There you go. Though like it doesn't reach everything, this might be what we are looking for. I might need to do these again. But yeah, we need I get food for that. Um we the problem is that we don't have enough iron and this is quite problematic. That's what I'm what I want to say. Could go with, go with some grain silos in here. We don't have any and that will actually help us. Let's do this like we we really don't have any grain silo in there. We need farmhouse for that. I think that's why I haven't done this before. Maybe what I'll do is basically add farmhouse like this, every corner there. That might be enough. I don't know. And then we go for the grain silo. We do have enough. Good. This gives us a little bit more food. This gives us some blocks. Interesting enough, we are not building any... Why is this not being upgraded into an Iron Man? One or more iron industry in a five radius. Oh, does that mean that I need uh, actually the... the steel works in there? But then I need iron to do that. So... How can I do that without the actual thing? Maybe what I do is... Oh, that'll be tricky. What does consume my iron? Warehouse, hardware shops, heavy steelworks, and goods factory. So why do I have warehouse and warehouses? That's interesting. I might just cancel all of that. This will give us some iron work, and then we'll see how that goes. Because then what we can do is basically build a steel factory in here, or try to. The problem with that would be, well, really the warehouse. This is tricky. This is really tricky. The three-story iron miner's house. Yeah. Do we have anything else on the other side? And um, we do have this. We have some warehouse. I have a rebel house in the middle there. All right. But yeah, we we do have warehouse in there. I think for this to upgrade, we just need. Hold on, maybe we upgrade that instead. Oh, I think I've accidentally removed my... 
<laughs> oh no, my Iron Mine. Of course, it would never would work like that. Come on. Can we now redo this? Let me try to, to get that. Iron Miner's house. There we go. And all right, I can do this. No problem. I can do this. I can see more Iron Miner's house now. I can do all of that. And I can do this as well. And maybe I can do one more. Don't remember. Yeah, I can go even one further but i think that would be all right now iron is going up we can upgrade this one as well so we like produce 50 instead of five and i just need logistics around we need six logistics so if i go in here and they need to be facing a road as well right so what I might do, I might bring a road over there. Bring a road over there. And yeah, I could do this over there as well, but let's get that logistic in place. And I can do one. What's the radius that we, we need that? in a five radius so one two all right this is more than enough there i can just do these three four five and this should oh we need six not five all right let's get one more there we go this should be ready to upgrade this should go up and we can come in here and do some upgrades later on although i'm looking at this and i think i'll do it straight away because i do want this to actually upgrade so have it in there i might just do a road in here and i'll do a few more over there as well what is this complaining about yeah you shouldn't be there sorry you are all going away and we already have like a three-story iron miners house in there which is really really good let's do more housing over here make this all happen could bring a road in there and i might do it just over there and then we update that as well Okay, there we go. This would be all that we need for now. Lots and lots of steel now. Good. Don't even remember what I was doing, but I probably was like making sure that our food production was a little bit better. But yeah. And we do have one over there though. Move it in here need 40 more steel we don't have the steel yeah we need, do need that steel works now i remember what i was doing i was building somewhere around here and to the steel works we need eight logistics so i was doing this and i think this and build one there one there and then we have 40 all right then we go back in there and we again try to do our farm sheds so can't be there we can be over here oh it needs to be on the road there I could actually bring a road over here 
and then do it in the app. And then we go for hopefully a food plant and we still have enough. So for that one, we could definitely build this over here. And food wise, I think we have enough now. That's all we need. Look at all of them. And I think that'll be the end of this episode as well. We haven't done the energy research center yet. We still need to, to grow a little bit more. And like areas that we will still grow will be probably in here and on this side as well. But all within time as they upgrade and sort themselves out, we will wait and come back next time to try to achieve the next building that we have left. So for now, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Uh, I'm definitely happy that we achieved the 12 story buildings and they look fantastic in here. I really like how they all look in there, over there, and the city is growing quite a lot. 64,000 people. This is quite a big city and I just love that. Really, really love that. And we need more power again. But on that note, <laughs> that's all that I have for today. I really hope you enjoyed this episode of Urbac. Let me know in the comments what you think, if you have any ideas or suggestions. And I hope I'll see you next time. Bye bye.